Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's webinar, Real-Time Daily Trading Ideas. Today is April the 4th, and just like every day of the week, I am speaking to you from our office in the heart of Berlin. Today, we will be speaking about trading ideas, strategies, market screenings, and we will be answering your questions. Before we can start with the actual webinar, we will briefly present the risk disclaimer. Trading with financial instruments offered by Admiral Markets carries a high level of risk, which is not suitable for all investors due to its complex nature. Please make yourself familiar with these instruments by using a demo account if you are a starter. Please feel free to contact us if you need any assistance with that. Please also note that none of this is investment advice. The statements made in this webinar only represent the personal opinion of our traders. You can also find the whole risk disclaimer on our website. Here you can see the schedule for the week. Today it's Marcus' turn. And before I finish off with the introduction, I would like to invite everyone interested in trading to try us out and benefit from the best index and forex offerings with spreads of just 0.6 pips. Please also feel free to have a look around our website and explore our international activities. And do not hesitate to contact us should you have any questions. And just like every first day of the week, Mr. Marcus Gabel is going to be speaking to us. Marcus, I'm passing Hello. over the screen to you right now. Just give me a second. There we go. Well, good morning and greetings <laughs> to the heart of Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So let's see. Yes, good morning and greetings here from Stuttgart. Uh, thanks for the introduction, my friend, and I hope you're doing good today. And uh, everything is fine with you, wherever you are, wonderful good morning. So we have to renounce this morning uh, to my webcam because I'm still in a hotel here in Stuttgart for the next fair invest. And the internet connection, you know, in hotel is not, all, is not the best, so I have to focus on my voice. And, uh, of course, uh, that you see the screen. Okay, but I guess everything is fine right now. Okay, let's see. Great. Okay. So, uh, do you can, can, can you uh, give me a short hint? Uh, can you see the screen and can you hear my voice? Of course we can. Of course we can. Great. Wonderful. So let's start with a view at the Dow Jones this morning. So, and as you can see, we are very far in the move right now. And that's what I told you last week, that we have an uptrend. And you know, a trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break. And as you can see, we are outside of the fair value zone. We are in the upper green zone. And that's that's uh, two uh, two information you are need, you need for your trading, no more or less the trend and the price information. So at the moment, I guess we will see a, a trend continuation to the upper side, and the target is the last uh, all-time high at 26,952 points. And I guess uh, about the seasonals, we have slight light, uh, slightly pr um, pr rising prices to the upper side. But as you can see, it's always the same. A trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break. So this is the daily chart. So what, we should, what should we do now? In this time frame, nothing. Because I don't make trades in the green upper zone because the price is too expensive. And you know the highest probabilities are more if you can make trades in direction of the point of control. And the point of control in daily chart in Dow Jones is placed at 24,652 points. So at the moment, for me as a trend trader, nothing to do. But I want to show you what happens if you stick to the rules always. So first of all, let's switch to a working trade. And you can see it's Aussie Swiss Straw. And maybe you remember the last weeks we are engaged in that trade a really long time. So we have we have an uptrend, or uh, still an uptrend. We have or we saw a 100% of correction, but the trend didn't break. They tried to break the trend, but it didn't work. So that we have still an uptrend. Even the X advisor shows me this, 
downtrend. And this downtrend is, uh, is a trend with corrective character because the main trend is facing upwards and this is corrective, this uh, trend right now. So I'm still in this trade engaged and I expect about the probabilities, not about my opinion. I don't have any opinions about the market because the market doesn't, uh, doesn't care about my opinion. I'm nothing in the market. You only can uh, be successful in trading uh, on two, based on two options. The first option is you have so much money in your account, I guess billions of dollars, that you can have an impact of the market with your own money. If you don't have that money on your account, then you have to stick to rules. First of all, you need rules. And the second one, you can be successful in trading. You stick to the rules, discipline every time. Every time, in every trade, you never have to fail in trading, in uh, sticking to the rules. Then you have a real chance to become, to become a successful trader. This is the reason I tell you, or I, uh, I'm going to tell you all, all the day to my clients and my Daho family. That's the reason why I call it family, because we have a, we have a fam, a family character, um, in our community. And, uh, we work together because I know it's really hard to trade alone in front of the PC because you cannot ask someone, you cannot ask about some advices from you. No one is talking to you. Are you right in that trade? What should you do right now? Your own, you are only responsible, responsible for yourself. But if you have a family or a, com a community around you, you can ask about the trading and everyone is sticking to the rules, then it's a little bit easier to become successful. That's the reason why I found uh, the, my community now three years ago and we are very, very successful in our community. Because my job as a coach is only to help people to stick to the rules and to find through and to, yes, to be strong to hard times and to be strong in good times. Maybe the last one is more difficult than the last, uh, the first one. So, and now this is one of the reasons I never intervene into a trade, never, because either the price or the trend is working for me or the price or the trend or the setup isn't work for me. So that's the reason I never intervene in the trade. I let the market decide what will happen with my trade. So this trade is still working and I expect and I count on it that the trend continuation as well is more likely than a trend break. So, and you know, we prepared last week Euro Swiss franc in our trading and you saw and we talked about, look at this one, this chart, Euro Swiss franc in daily chart. We saw the stabilization at the daily chart at this lower point here. And additionally, the seasonal shows us next week's uh, rising prices. That was the reason we talked about in the hourly chart to try a very young, a, wide, a very uh, uh, early entry. And you see, as you can see, it works here. Let me, let me draw it for you. Can you see it? That was the trend beginning here, movement, correction movement then we had a trend a valid trend rule number one is you need a trend then we saw the correction let me scroll in here then we saw the correction and let me draw it for you that you can see it and you can follow my thoughts right now so you can see there was the balance candle here can you see there was the balance candle there we get inside there we got inside in the trade and then of course the first target in the normal way is red to red. So, but after the trade started, we saw a deeper correction. So the correction extends to the lower side and then we saw a 100% correction here. And in that case, cause for the first target, we, uh, we split our targets uh, in two, in two pieces. And uh, that's the reason after the extension of the correction, we had a closer target, the first target, from black to black. So that was the reason 
why we sold half of the position after we reached the first target black to black. And then it's easier. Why I do that? It's really easy. It's for my mental calmness. So I always you can sell half of the position. You are out of the risk and you are very calm because you feel like a winner. And this is so easy and this is, this is so important that you be, uh, to take care about your inner attitude, that you feel good, that you stick to your rules and you, can you earn your money. And this is the reason why I split it all my positions in two pieces. Because always red to red, green to green, blue to blue, I take out of the half of the position to get out of the risk and to feel good. Because with that feeling, and that's the point, that's a crucial point, with that feeling, it's easier to let the market decide what will happen after you take out of the position, you take out the half of the position. Now you can see with, with that money in my, on my account, because I feel like a winner, because I took out of the half of the position, it's easier to let the trend running, to let the trade working right now. So you can see it works. And now we don't can say to the market, oh, it's not possible that the price go up more and more, or we cannot uh, say uh, the market cannot fall deeper or cannot rise more up. No, that's not our job. Now we have to accept that in the right type of things that the market will do whatever it has to do. So now a trend continuation, guys, is always more likely than a trend break. So we are safe in that trade. We are really safe. And now a new trend occurs here. You can see we are a little bit in a correction. But look at this one. Where is the point of control? Where is the point of control placed? Look at this one. The point of control is placed so far away from the current price at 1.3523. So you can see we have such a long space to and such a long distance to go. Why should I intervene in that trade? Why should I do that? A trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. So let it work. Let the market decide how much money you will get right now, how much tips you can count, you can collect on your account in, the, in that case. So that's the reason I took out of the half of the position and now it's easier. God, what should happen? What should happen right now? In the worst case, the price came back and stopped me out here. Okay, but after I took out of I took out, out of the half of the position, I'm safe. In the worst case, I have zero. That's the worst case. But no more, no less. And at the end, guys, it's only just a fucking trade. No more, no less. It costs not your life. It's only a trade. So have distance emotionally from trades, work with rules, stick to the rules, and you will see, you will more often surprise how much money you will get than in the other way. So that's the two trades are working, or uh, they are working right now. And uh, let's get back to the market. Now, chance is there. Look at this one in hourly chart. Of course, you can imagine we are we are fighting with the higher, with the point of high here on the upper side, but we have still an uptrend right now. But now the point of control is placed in, in hourly chart at 25,709. And uh, maybe we will see a correction to the lower to this point of control. But actually, we are still in a valid uptrend. And you know, like in daily chart, the trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. Let me show you a very interesting situation in DAX. So look at this one in daily chart. First of all, daily chart. Do you remember, guys? Do you remember what I told you since weeks? I told you every week what's happened. Look at this one. And you remember I told you the point of control in DAX. It's placed at 12,220 points. And I told you, a trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. 
Look at this one. What happened? We were very deep in a green zone, 10,278 points. And since that, the last time the point of control in Delhi chart switched was in June last year. June, yes, last year. Since that, I told you, if we will see a trend, the price will go back based on probability based on the human factor, on the nature factor, what trading really means. You trade prices and every price in life and in trading means sometimes we have special offers because we are very cheap in price. Sometimes we are very expensive in price, but most of the times we, uh, most of the times we have balanced prices and always a special offer, nothing take for more than one week or two weeks in an, in the, if you go in the store. And the expensive price will go back to a balanced price as well. And here you can see, that's the proof. One of the, so many proofs, so many proofs, so many evidences every day in trading. You can see we have a trend. We saw the correction with the stabilization at the point of low. And now we are strong, strictly on track back to a point of control. And that's not really, really, that's not a rocket science, guys. That's, it's really, really easy. So, write it down what I say. Three T, trust the trend. Trust the trend and trust the price. No more, no less. And all the other stuff taking place in your mind. And that's the reason why so many people fail in trading because they don't have any rules. They cannot stick to the rules because they have no support, no encouragement around, and they don't trust trends and price. So, Darshan, you have a question? Let me see. Just to be clear, with market profile, are you saying we should initiate a position when in green zone? Yes, yes, yes. That's the point. We have rules. We need a trend. We need a correction. You know the rules. We are 38% at least in a correction. We wait for the balance candle, like in this one, like I showed you in this, uh, in this one where we get inside, got inside in a trade. Let's just say that's the rule, but everything should happen always in the green zone. In the red zone, we don't make trades because red zone means we are fair valued. There are the probabilities 50-50 and 50-50 is too less for uh, for successful trades. So the best opportunities you always will find in the green zone, in an unfair value price zone, because the price will go back to the point of control. Not always, guys. We don't have a 100% probability. There's, that doesn't exist a setup with 100% probabilities. It doesn't exist. Otherwise, we don't have trades. We don't have a stock. We cannot trade. So we only have high probabilities, and this is one of the highest probabilities, trend continuation, trend continuation, and price. That's the two information you need for your trading. That is not a rocket science. That is only clever. You not must be too smart in trading. You cannot explain everything in trading. That's a big challenge. It's enough. You are clever, and you are disciplined. That's the real challenge. And they're taking place in your mind, not in the market, not in the rules, not on the price, not as such every other thing. It's only taking place in your mind. So, and the same procedures here in DAX, it's very, very often that the price will go back. I don't know if, we'll, if the price will reach it next week or in two weeks, or maybe, it, no, no clue, whatever. But the probability is very, very high. And as you can imagine, if you can imagine where is the price in hourly chart, yes, of course, let's see, it must be very high because you can see um, we are very far in the move and in the upper zone. So maybe we see a trend continuation again, but after that, the next correction will come. So you see, that's the situation. I don't make trades. I make trades outcoming of the correction zone, and I make trades in the green zone, but always back to the point of control, or that's the one, one and only exception 
where you can make trades in within the red zone if you have a trend and the stabilization or the correction and at the point of control like this one. Look at this one. If you have a trend and you can see the C stabilization at the point of control, then it's the only exception to it's allowed to make trades in within the red zone. So any current reading uh, at cable? Of course, let's switch to the cable. It's an interesting point. So let's see cable here. Um, yes, let's start with the daily chart, okay? So you see, ah, oh, that's an interesting situation. Look at this one. Uh, we have a down, we have an uptrend. You can see the exit wise adroit for you or the mandatory. And now you can see two things. You see the stabilization exactly at the point of control. That's what the market say to you. Look, be calm. We are fair valued right now. Here is the most, here's the best balance between buyers and sellers. But the most important thing is we have an uptrend and we can see that the only exception I told you a couple of seconds ago that we will see a stabilization at the point of control because we have a trend, we were in the move, now we saw the correction and now we have the balance candle exactly at the point of control. And now a trend continuation outcoming of that point is more likely than a trend break. And additionally, you can see the seasonal shows us a rising prices. So we have all probabilities on our side. That's the reason why I could make, or why this is a situation, you can make a trade. Because you, you place your stop buy order be above the point of, control, a point of control, or a little bit above the high of the last candles, with the, with the stop below the last point three here, and now we speculate on a trend continuation. Maybe the daily chart is too big for you or too boring for you. Okay, let's see what will happen in hourly charts. And here you can see, oh, we don't have a trend. We don't, yes, of course, we have a trend. Let me draw it for you, then I can see. Come on. Okay, yes, yes, here we are. Let's see. Maybe it's a little bit big trend. So movement, correction, movement, and now the correction. But you can see the correction is hanging in the in the air. That's not a great support there. So the only chance you can make a trade in hourly chart, if the same in daily chart, you will have a correction which which ends here at the point of control, and then. We have balance candles here, and then we can trade from there up in trend continuation, in trend direction. But not yet, because now we are within the red zone, really within the red zone. And that's forbidden to make trades, because the probabilities are less than 50-50, because it's a fair price. Only you will have a stabilization and a support exactly at the point of control. So that's the reason why we can have a chance in daily charts. And this is my proposal for the next days. I hope you learned a little bit about trading and about market chances. If you have more questions, you will find my name in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Dow How Trader, or my homepage if you have any questions. Let me know there's no secret in trading. The only secret is in your mind. So with this in our mind, thank you for your attention. I wish you a great day and with this back in the heart of Berlin. Thank you very much, Marcus. It's always a pleasure listening to you. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for your time. Um, we will upload this webinar onto YouTube. If you would like to review it, you can do so anytime. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.